Hey guys, what is up? My name is Sean Result, and welcome to my Delphi programming for absolute beginners in FireMonkey course. So in this video, we are going to be continuing on the previous on the previous video. So in the previous video, we learned how to hide how to hide and show an image. Um, so so we looked at the visible property, and we also looked at the wrap mode property. Um, this one, okay, and in this video. We will simply be looking at how to open and save images. Um, so yes, let's expand the height of this one. And let's copy these um, buttons. Add one here. Then we can change the text to open new open um, open my image okay let's just call let's just call it that and then we'll copy this button again and the text here will be save current image okay so now let's now let's go look at the code on how to um, open a new image um, it's basically how to replace this image with a different image um, in code so um, in the in the properties in, in the object inspector, we can simply go and change the multi um, res bitmap here, and we can simply select a new image. Okay, but let but let's look at how we can um, easily do this with code. So the Im the name of the image is img shown result. So let's select the image by saying img shown result dot and then we say dot bitmap. Okay, then and then dot load from file and this is basically the code we used to, uh, um, to load a new image or to open a new image and then inside inside of the brackets we have um, two um, quotation marks here or apostrophes, apostrophe um, symbols and then inside inside of that base uh, it's the, I think it's called a single quotation mark or something well the quotation is, is a quotation. I think I think it's called quotation. Anyway, um, and then inside of this we have we have to um, specify the destination the destination of the image. So I have an image here inside. Um, it's lagging. Come on. Inside of this image, so inside again, so in this folder I've got plenty of um, images, and I'm going to select this image here. So I have the um, this the, the, the destination of it. So here is basically where the image can be found, and then you basically just specify where it is. So if I compile now, okay, it's busy compiling. And then press on open my image. It will simply open the new image which was in that um, folder or destination. So you simply add the destination here. For instance, if I want to select a new one, I just simply um, give the give the, the, the destination. Let's say I want to select um, what image? Let's select this one. Okay. Then I just select the name of this image and the destination. I'm gonna put in there. If I compile now. Uh, click uh, click here, it will open that image. So to make this easier, you can also put um, this image in the same folder as the exe. So let's go and do that. Let's find the exe. Um, this one. And let's put the image image in the in the same folder as the exe. So here's the exe. I'm just I'm just I'm just going to name this new image, and then. Um, here we can just simply say this and then this will automatically look in the same folder as the exe and then open that one so before we move on let's go into okay let's actually move on and go to the, how to save the current image so to do that we say img dot i'm the result 
dot bitmap dot save to file and then here we specify where we where we want to save the image let's also save it in the same folder and then we just name it for instance um new saved image dot that let's compile So that's just a very simple way to do it. There are better ways um, and more advanced ways, which we will look at in the future. But this, this is the basic way to do it. See so if you look here now, um, where's the program now? Okay. So if we now click on open my image, then it automatically opens this image here. And if we say save current image, you'll see it will now, there, we, it saved the image here now so now we can open the new one that it's saved as you can see yes yes guys that's basically um how to open and save images in delphi using code so you say the image dot bitmap dot load from file and then bitmap dot save to file and then in the brackets you specify um from where you want to load it and where you want to save it to so yes you can also do this with um an open dialog and a save dialog this will make things easier for you and we will be looking at those options in a future video so yes guys that's basically it for this video thank you for watching this video guys um, if you enjoyed this video and if you and if this video was helpful to you then make sure to leave a thumbs up on this video and subscribe for more videos also if you want you can go and check out my social media links here on the left side of the screen and you can go and follow me on my social media accounts also if you have any questions and you can leave you can leave the questions down in the comments and i will uh, make sure to answer them if i have time and if i know in and if i know the, and if i know the answer also you guys that watch my videos can also go down in the comments and answer the questions if you know the answer or if you can help the person asking the question so yes guys that's basically it for this video and i will see you guys in the next video Bye bye.